Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Single Cut Beer Smith's Does Anybody Remember Laughter IPA. And I'm going to give a huge, huge shout out to my good buddy Joe, or as you guys know him here on YouTube, Average Joe, for hooking me up with this beer. The last couple of times he's been down, he's brought me some single cut beers. They've all been really, really good. So I asked him to bring me down some more, and he hooked me up. At time of recording, this is three weeks old, so super duper fresh. Really looking forward to this one, so let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, man, that is really nice. Wow, up front, tons and tons of like juicy, ripe mango, lots of tropical fruits. Getting a little bit of pineapple, some peach. Definitely some citrus too, like a really nice kind of bright orange. Definitely getting a nice kind of dank character. Actually a really strong kind of resiny character in here too. Yeah, that's really nice. Again, lots of peach too. Decent bit though of that mango right up front. Oh man, this smells really good. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. Damn, that's good. Up front, really, really big, juicy, ripe mango, peach, kind of like this pineapple thing going on. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, lots of juicy citrus and tropical fruit notes up front. Kind of like this juicy orange. Almost a little bit... I'm kind of that, like that sweeter orange, almost like a mandarin orange kind of taste in there too. Really, really nice. But up front, it's all of again that like juicy, juicy tropical fruit. But as it lingers on my palate, it actually switches over. It's more of like a bittersweet grapefruit. Definitely getting some of that nice dank character, a little bit of pine, some resin notes too. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Actually, has a lot of complexity to it. It's not just straight up pine and resin. It's not just straight up like citrus or tropical fruits. It has a really, really nice blend. Man, that's nice. And it actually really does have this big, big, like dank, earthy, piney, resiny finish to it, which I really, really like. It has a nice medium body, almost a slightly creamy kind of coating mouthfeel to this one too, which I really like. It has a decent bit of bitterness, dries it out quite a bit on the back end actually, but for whatever reason, it doesn't come across as too bitter, which I really, really like. That being said, it's definitely dry and it makes you want to come back for another sip, after another sip, after another sip. After another sip, yeah. This is really, really good. Extremely easy to drink. Yeah, very, very nice stuff. This one might be one of my new favorites, actually. So, Joe, if you're watching this one, you might need me. Nate might need to bring me another bottle. God, I can't even talk after this. Yeah, really, really nice stuff. Guys, in terms of a rating, I'm going with a 9.4 out of 10. Really digging this one. Really, really easy to drink. Has that nice bitterness to it, but it's not overwhelming. It just provides a really, really nice dryness. And then all that juicy tropical fruit. Again, mango, mango, mango. Peach, pineapple. Definitely nice. Some citrus, grapefruit, and then that earthy, dank, piney, resiny, just kind of hop finish. Really awesome beer. If you guys can get this one, it is definitely worth checking out. Again, Joe, thank you so much. Alrighty, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.